What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect a wireless hard drive or flash drive such as this one to your all new Fire TV or any Fire TV stick. This can be done on any Fire TV, but I am specifically interested in connecting those without a USB port. On the others, you might get a better performance from plugging it straight to USB. You can essentially load this up with movies and play them on the go with or without internet. You'll have to refer to your manual for specific instructions, but I'm gonna try to give you some general ones on how I was able to get this working. All right, I'm gonna start with how I did this without internet. So basically, I just connected to the Wi-Fi that the hard drive is transmitting. Now I'm going to open up Kodi, which is what I'm going to use to play my movies. We have to launch the app the long way, as you can see, because from the previous screen it said home is currently unavailable, but that has nothing to do with what we're going to do. So inside of Kodi, go into the file section, select files, select add videos, select browse, and here you want to go to add network location. Now, my specific device only worked with SMB. You're gonna to have to find what other protocols your device works with. Here for the server, I just typed in the IP address of my device. You can find this by looking at the network information and typing what you see in the default gateway. So you select done, select okay, select okay again, and now you're gonna see it up there. You're gonna select it and select public folder. And inside that folder, I made another folder called movies, but you can just put the public folder if you did it on the root directory. Next, I hit okay. And then here, since we don't have any internet, we're gonna leave this alone and select okay. This basically adds artwork and a little summary of the movie. At this point, you can open up that new share and go ahead and launch your movies as normal. You can fast forward without any problems. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you how I was able to get this working with internet. So remember to refer to your original manual for instructions on how to do this. But basically, I just downloaded the app on my iPad, went into the settings and clicked the little globe icon, turned on connect Seagate wireless to wireless networks, chose my network, put in my information, and then I clicked on join network. Once everything is ready, you can go back to that page again, and it says connected with internet via Megatron. Your home screen will refresh. Now here I'm just showing you that I am connected to the hard drive, not the actual wireless spot. Go ahead and launch Kodi again, and at this point, you can follow the instructions from the previous steps, but I'm just gonna edit the source. And this time, where it says this directory contains, set it to movies, hit OK, hit yes. And once you go in there, it's gonna show you all the uh, thumbnails and summary and all that information. That is pretty much it. You can go ahead and launch it just like we did previously. And it should work just like that. So once again, this is helpful if you want to load it up with movies and take it with you anywhere you go, since the Fire TV only has about eight gigabytes of memory and you can use it in places where you don't exactly have internet, so it's very helpful. Anyways, if you like this video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next video.